Hello, my fiery fire signs. Welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me for your elemental messages for Virgo season. So we are breaking down the signs Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius in this reading. And of course, your timestamps will be down in the comments. But some of you who have a lot of fire in your chart might find this entire video resonates with you. So please use your discernment when watching tarot as these readings are meant to uplift and empower you, not keep you stuck and trapped in a negative or repetitive toxic cycle okay so please only take what fits for you and leave the rest behind if this is your story i look forward to hearing from you in the comments and if not this time around you can check my channel and your other zodiac placements for other messages you need to hear but as always, please remember to like this video, comment, share, subscribe, turn up those notifications so that YouTube sends you the memo when I post future readings. So uh, before we get into the card pulling, you guys, a huge thank you to my Fire Sign subscribers and members. You guys are the best. Thank you for every ounce of support and love that you show me in this channel. And thank you to those of you who have purchased personal readings recently. Um, and of course, if you're new to the channel and you don't already know about the summer sale, but you wanna book a reading, now is the time, okay? It is 50% off on all personal readings, including emergency reads if you wanna get bump to the top of the list so all of my details are down below where you can book your reading with me just be sure to include your email address or shoot me an email that way I know who you are and I can get you your reading in a timely fashion okay so let's get started you guys we're gonna get into it with Aries right we're gonna start with our lovely Aries first and we are asking spirit what do we need to know about Virgo season okay so again Please reverse roles, only take what fits. And remember, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the lovely crotch watcher of Aries. So remember guys, like the video and comment below if you find that this is your story. So what do we have for Aries, please? What does spirit want Aries to know for Virgo season, please? Oh, we're starting with time. Okay, and discipline so this could go a couple of different ways you guys this could be spirit telling you that it is time for something you have been patient for to come into fruition and for some of you out there this could be spirit telling you that everything happens in divine timing there may be a need for you to be patient for you to be disciplined and waiting for whatever this is you're expecting to arrive now we are dead smack in the middle of retrograde season and supposedly this mercury retrograde is going to be a kind of a positive one right where things that we have put in motion are going to start coming into fruition rapidly okay so what whichever way that swings for you only you're going to know as the viewer but uh, regardless the, the same message is true whether you're waiting or whether it's time for you to reap the rewards it is so important for us to remember that everything does happen in divine timing okay so what else do we need to see for Aries okay wow Aries this winds of change card just keeps popping up in these readings definitely be sure to check your other placements but I mean you guys you can see here she looks like she's getting carried away by a tornado okay this is very Wizard of Oz ish. So I feel like you obviously are going to be facing a lot of changes, a lot of things that are out of your control could be coming up to the surface. But I think really the message here is to let the wind take you wherever it's going to take you, okay? Even if it takes you to some other land like Oz, right? Even if it takes you somewhere where you never would have expected, Spirit's telling you to go with the flow. The more you resist the change, the more difficult it's going to be, all right? So sometimes I see the tower energy with this wind card, um, but again, that's going to vary for everyone watching. So let's get one more card here. Oh. all right so we've got dark matter 
and mystery. Another image of a swirling like tunnel or portal happening here behind her. Lots of butterflies going right along with the theme in the background as you can see. But uh, obviously butterflies spell transformation, okay, and change. So mystery and dark matter. This could be spirit telling you that something is about to be revealed in Virgo season. Um, this could be you revealing something, right? As we've got the butterfly over her mouth. Uh, for some of you, this could even be a warning not to reveal some sort of secret um, or get involved in some sort of dark mystery <laughs> that could be encircling you at this time, okay? So again, only take what fits for you. Um, but either way, I think this is Spirit's way of saying whatever was done in the dark is going to come to light here. So I think there is something being revealed. I think that maybe something that has been a mystery or something that you have felt like you had no idea what was going on or, or we're not in the know, it's going to be made clear for you this season, okay? So let's get into the tarot. Let's find out. First of all, we're gonna dip back into the past for a second and talk about how we wrapped up Leo season, okay? So, wow, that came out ultra fast. So we're starting with the shaman and the three of arrows. Wow, so this message is definitely for somebody. Those cards were waiting to jump out of the deck. I barely even took a first shuffle and they came out. So the shaman is the magician. Obviously, the three of arrows speaks of sadness and separation, grief, third-party situations, okay? Betrayal. So, yeah, you know, this could be... Um, this could be a revelation that you had in Leo season, something that maybe broke your heart, somebody betrayed you, or again, maybe you were involved in a third party energy, but the magician is here because it's a reminder, whatever this was, you had a hand in manifesting it to Aries. So before I sit here and hop into mama bear mode and start defending you, I do want to say if the magician's popping up with your energy, you had your hands in this just as much as whoever the third party or whoever was involved in this, okay? So not that you wanted it to happen, but you were definitely involved, okay? That's what I'm feeling. So however this happened, however it transpired, um, there is this energy of heartbreak, okay? And, and it's feeling very unsettling. And maybe that is something that you have been keeping in the dark or maybe you haven't been willing to admit, right? Something you've been hiding that you know that you're you're partially responsible for whatever this is okay um it takes two to tango aries that's what i'm hearing so i'm not trying to bash on you or dump on you or anything but obviously a part of my role here is to help you accept and take accountability for your role in how things transpired right we can't just point the finger at everybody else and i'm sure you already know this i don't know why i'm saying it but maybe someone needs to hear it Anyways, whatever happened here, whatever broke your heart, you had a hand in making it happen. And, you know, obviously too, Aries, this could have been a lesson for you and just how powerful your manifestation skills are. You might not have expected things to go the way that they did, but in hindsight, <laughs> in hindsight, you realize, oh, okay, wow, yeah, I really did, um, I, I did make that happen. I was responsible or I was uh, involved in the, the action of this, whatever this is. So let's move on. What else do we need to see here And in regards to Virgo season? So we have the great bear, judgment. So yeah, you know, this... The reason this is coming up now is probably because it's going to be coming up again. Uh, judgment is spirit's way of picking you up by the collar of your shirt from the back roads and the side roads you were traveling onto the main road back towards where you're supposed to be. This could also be a decision that you need to make in Virgo season involving something from your past. So for some of you, you could be like in separation from someone and you're really actively trying to manifest a reunion, right? I feel like that's a lot of people's stories these days. So, you know, if you're waiting for something to come back around, spirit's bringing it. All right, they're bringing it back around and they're saying it's judgment day, okay? They're gonna be tooting that horn in your face or in this case, um, growling in your face like this big ass ferocious bear. So there are going to be some reminders and some revisiting of the past in Virgo season. 
not even like anyone should be surprised. I mean, we're in the middle of retrograde season. Everybody and their mama is retrograde. And uh, Jupiter is about to join on the caboose. So it is what it is, right? During retrogrades, themes of the past do tend to become regurgitated back into our plates. And that is so nasty. I can't believe I just said that, but that might be how it feels for you, okay? So, um, so yeah, like whatever this is, Spirit's reminding you that you were a part of this happening. You had a role in this, whatever the role was. And, you know, it's funny because I know this is a pile of blood at the bottom here, but for a second when I looked really fast, it kind of reminded me of like some yarn or like some crinkled up string. And this could be a soul contract that we're talking about here, okay? It's not meant to be a love reading, but obviously these themes are gonna pop up if they're relevant for you. So, so yeah, if, if there's heartbreak and sadness, if there's separation and possible third party energy, we obviously know that there is a soul contract attached to this energy. So anyways, why the judgment card? Yeah, you know what I'm hearing too? They want you to make the right choice this time. That's what I'm hearing. They want you to make the right choice this time. So maybe, um, Aries, you were actively manifesting some sort of relationship dynamic, but it was a third party. And Spirit's telling you that the more you manifested it, the more heartbroken you were going to become. And so by you trying to put your hands into this situation and involve yourself, now Spirit's coming back around with the, with the review, okay? Letting you know what's up, what you did, uh, why you're where you are. And again, hoping that you will make the right decision this time. Um, now we've got the three of pentacles, creativity. So we've got the green woman here on the card symbolizing the empress. Um, but Aries, I think right now spirit is hoping that you will collaborate with people who are actually good for you, who are concerned with building a real foundation because even the three of pentacles can sometimes suggest a third party situation and you can see her back is up against the wall. Okay. Um, it's making me think of that song by Mystical. <laughs> Got me up against the wall. Like, that's the feeling here, okay? So I, I think Aries Spirit is telling you that you're going to have an opportunity to collaborate uh, with people this season, people that are of like-minded interests and ideas and goals. And that is what you should be putting your work and effort into. If you're going to be involving yourself in a third-party situation, it should be around building something really solid with friends or, again, people that you can trust, people who have the same goals and ideas in mind. But it's going to require you to, to be creative, to tap into that energy of the divine feminine, right? So yes, let's move on. What else do we need to see? We've got the world tree and the moon. So we are about to have a blue moon next week as we end the month. And we've also got this energy of completion and accomplishments here, closure, things coming full circle. So yeah, I think spirit is reminding you that, um, that underneath all of this, under the surface, the secret that's out right now is the fact that you've already learned this lesson. So you really have no business trying to manifest something that you know deep down is just gonna break your heart, okay? You've learned a lot through that situation. And uh, I think right now you're very interested in paying attention to what's going on within yourself, paying attention to your dreams and your intuition, possibly recognizing that the reason you manifested it in the first place is out of fear of rejection or not being loved or not being seen, okay? So I think the energy of the moon is going to be very important this season. Um, and again, we know the moon represents emotions and feelings and things like that. So so yeah, I think Spirit's telling you that there's going to be a lesson learned in Virgo season in regards to how you really feel um, and your authentic emotions. And there may be some secrets and things coming to light that will give you some sort of closure within the situation, okay? Um, what else? Anything else we need to see about Virgo season? 
Yeah, six of arrows, transition. So spirit is telling you this is going to be a time of healing and finding peace within yourself, moving away from any toxic scenarios like third parties or, you know, just anything that's not good for you. Okay. Anything that is going to disturb the peace or, you know, flip the boat over essentially. And I love that the boat is actually a swan. Um, and so again, if this is about soul contracts for you, if this is about a dynamic um, between you and a counterpart, I think spirit is reminding you that it's time for you to heal and head towards who truly is for you. Okay. The swan suggests the swan song, soul connection, soulmate, twin flame. So I think this is spirit's way of telling you that's the journey you're on. It's the journey to find your true counterpart. It's not to get involved in third party situations and uh, be with people who are going to break your heart or are going to let you down or are going to portray you. Okay. Um, and so Aries, you know, maybe you felt the need to meddle in this situation or involve yourself because of jealousy. Um, and I'm hearing jealousy has driven him mad. If you've ever seen Moulin Rouge, but you know, sometimes, uh, feelings of jealousy and FOMO, fear of missing out, uh, fear of rejection, fear in general is what causes us to put our hands in the fire in the first place, because we don't want to miss out on an opportunity, but you can't miss out on an opportunity that's meant for you, right? If it's meant for you, then it's for you. And if not, then spirit will bring in the tower, right? They will bring in the separation and, you know, kind of give you those signs again and again that whoever it is you're trying to manifest or connect with is not actually meant for you. So, um, so yeah, this is going to be a time of rest and healing, um, finding peace and hopefully transitioning from being in this energy to things rapidly changing for you and you finding peace and closure and understanding the why behind you, behind why you even involved yourself in the first place. So I do think you're going to be reflecting a lot on that situation. And uh, once again, we've got these swirling energies of change and, and mystery. I think there will be some things coming to light surrounding that dynamic over here. Okay. What that is exactly only you will know when it happens. But um, again, I'm hearing like it's time as I'm looking at this card. So, you know, who knows? Maybe it's time for someone to be revealed. Uh, maybe a third party situation will end up being exposed in Virgo season. So again, this is going to vary for those of you watching. This can all manifest in many different ways. This is just what I'm intuitively picking up on. So if there's anything that you feel that you're picking up on from these cards, if your situation is different than something that I've described, um, then jot it down in the comments. Okay. Uh, I love to see you guys um, engaging and sharing your stories and giving me a new perspective to what I'm seeing on the board here. So Let's find out what the conclusion is for Virgo season. What is the conclusion here? Oh my, knocking the moon out of the way. We've got the eight of bows, hearth fire, and it's popping up sort of in the reverse, okay? So I think in conclusion, you know, this could be something or a revelation that you have during Virgo season that this energy or this feeling of passion, excitement, movement, love at first sight, Cupid sliding the arrow through the butt cheeks, all of that um, was not actually truly meant for you. Sometimes this energy comes into our lives and we feel like, oh my God, everything's so great, everything's so right. And then the rug gets pulled out from underneath us with situations like this right here. So this could be the conclusion because Spirit's reminding you that not every instant connection is meant to last forever. Not every love at first sight feeling or again, deep soul contract that you share with someone is meant to move forward. So I do feel that if we're still talking talking about someone that spirit is telling you it might be time to cut off communication um, or not abandon the idea but release the idea that this was meant to be just because there was that instant click or that instant vibe okay um, because you're gonna have that a lot in your life and um, again there's gonna be <laughs> people that you think are supposed to be in your life that everything feels right until all of a sudden it doesn't okay so that is a reminder um that you know again not everything is always meant to move forward you might feel passionate and excited and in love and all of these things but 
um, sometimes those feelings are fleeting. So you really just need to learn how to use your discernment and pay attention to people's behavior and whether or not they're consistent. Um, so yeah, underneath the deck, we've got the nine of arrows, dedication. So yeah, nine of swords, this is the suffering in silence energy. Um, and you know, it kind of looks like she is collecting bows. It's not, it doesn't look like she's shooting the bows. It looks like she's getting ready to gather the bows. But I see this as, you know, again, the underlying energy of all of this is whatever this situation was that was wrapping up in Leo season, it really did cause you a lot of anxiety and stress. I think that you remained dedicated and loyal to this person until you really saw what was up, okay? And again, I think you might have lost a lot of sleep over this individual. You might have felt very stressed and anxious and worried about the future and my love, True love, true connection does not come to you in confusion and fear and anxiety and worry. It comes to you in clarity, okay? So that judgment energy that's coming in, the great bear that's coming in to growl right in your face and blow your hair all the way back like you're on a roller coaster is because they're trying to get you to see that, okay? They're trying to help you to see how much time you've wasted worrying and fretting over someone that's, uh, that would end up breaking your heart anyway, okay? So like I said, not to be harsh on you or anything with the magician and the three of swords but it's like spirits reminding you you kind of broke your own heart here Aries you chased after something that wasn't right for you that wasn't meant for you and so that is the lesson learned okay let's get an affirmation card for you guys see what spirit wants you to focus on here for Virgo season we've got two actually oh wow perfect worthiness and grounding so yeah like this is about your self-worth here remembering like you're the peacock okay you're not you're not here to chase somebody else around just to get your damn heart broken like no you're the one who is the leader here you're the one who is um you know needing to be chased right so we've got i feel worthy and have very special talents that will help me to achieve my dreams right so worthiness comes from within okay you cannot um you cannot define your worth by what someone else thinks of you or what someone else does or how they act right only you can can recognize that within yourself we also have grounding I center and ground myself despite emotional upset around me. Yeah, so like even though, oh, I just saw 22, 22 on the clock. So even though uh, things might feel chaotic or even though you might feel emotionally um, distraught over this situation, Spirit's telling you to stay grounded in reality, okay? Stay grounded within yourself. Recognize that you are worth it, okay? You're worth it all, Aries. Um, and no one else gets to decide that for you. So hopefully that resonates with somebody out there, at least one Aries. If it did, don't forget to like the video, comment down below, um, and share with someone else who needs to hear these messages. But also don't forget to get your personal reading booked up with me before the end of the month. All details are below in the description box. And you guys can also look forward to some more readings and things coming on the channel. Other than that, please enjoy Virgo season as best as you can, and I will be resetting the screen for my lovely Leos. So, of course, in this reading, we're going to be asking Spirit what you need to know about Virgo season, so be sure to like the video and comment below if it's your story. And obviously, this one is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the lovely crotch watcher of Leo. So, what do we need to see for Leos this season? What is the overall energy? Okay, oh my gosh, can I pick up the cards or not? So we've got East, Beginnings, and Groundedness, Gravity. So, so yeah, you know, I think Spirit is telling you to gear up for a new phase of life. There's a new chapter that's about to begin for you. We've even got the number three on the top of the card signifying the Empress, which is all about creativity and abundance, nurturing energy. So Spirit is wanting you to nurture this new beginning, okay? Stay grounded in your energy. And, you know, I think it's funny. We've got all these planets up above in the card here, and every single planet basically is retrograde and 
you know, Jupiter is not yet, but it will be by the end of the month. So, so yeah, while all of the retrograde chaos is happening, spirit is telling you to stay down to earth, stay grounded within yourself. Um, and, uh, yeah, like maybe there's going to be some sort of situation that's going to be, um, you're going to be hitting with gravity. Okay. It's going to be hitting with gravity. So there might be something even that feels like is weighing you down this season. Um, because you know, sometimes gravity can actually be a burden, right? Sometimes we want to just take off out into outer space <laughs> and be free. Um, but yeah, there's some, something about you needing to stay grounded here. What else do we need to see? Let's get one more for Leo. Dark matter. Wow, this has been coming up a lot, you guys. Dark matter and mystery. It looks like complete chaos swirling around her. All these butterflies. Um, very on theme, as you can see from the background. But, you know, this has been, like I said, a theme that's been popping up in a lot of these readings. I feel like Spirit is telling you there's going to be something revealed this season, okay? Which wouldn't surprise me. I mean, smack dab in the middle of Virgo season, we've got the blue moon. Like, there's just so much happening right now. And uh, again, you know, whether it's you that's going to be revealing some sort of secret or whether something is going to be told to you it is something that you have maybe been in the dark about but as we all know whatever is done in the dark will always come to light so whatever this is about for you only you will know um I do feel that there's going to be something communicated here in Virgo season that's going to reveal uh, something that you have been very confused about, okay? That's what I'm seeing. What do we need to see in regards to Leo season? As we wrapped up your season, where did we leave off? Oh my. Okay, so we've got a card that just fell on the floor. Oh my goodness. It's the Three of Swords. So we've got the Queen of Swords and the Three of Swords popping up. As you were wrapping up your season, you were busy looking over that little shoulder of yours and grilling <laughs> like this swan. She's like, something is sus. Um, so yeah, you know, obviously there could have been some heartbreak, um, possible third party situation, separation, betrayal, all of those themes are coming up. Um, but the card says jealousy. Okay. So, you know, regardless of whether, you know, you broke someone's heart or they broke your heart, I feel like it all came down to this one fact. You were too smart for the bullshit, Leo. I really feel that you have learned how to hone in your skills of intuitive, um, deduction is what I will say. Intuitive deduction. And, uh, you know, you already know whoever this is that you're connecting with, they, they're not good for you because someone who's good for you isn't going to break your heart. They're not going to put you in a compromising situation. They're not going to, um, try to make you jealous or anything like that. Right? So the queen of swords is discerning. She's sharp. She's resilient and strong. She ain't going to play no games. Um, and she does not like people wasting her time. So I do feel, Leo, in your season, you were cutting people off. You were processing things that, you know, maybe broke your heart or wasn't fair uh, or left you feeling depleted or betrayed. So that is what I'm seeing for your season. No longer accepting any BS, not tolerating any games from anybody, and not putting yourself in any situations that would make you vulnerable or susceptible to heartbreak, okay? So let's talk about Virgo season. What do we need to see? So we're starting with the seven of stones in the reverse. So, you know, I think whatever you have been hoping to manifest, whatever you've been putting your time and effort and energy into, I feel like there's going to be a little bit of frustration for you here in Virgo season because whatever this is, it's taking a really long time to manifest. So you might start the season off just sort of feeling that frustration, wondering like when is like, I'm hearing when's it my turn? <laughs> I'm hearing Little Mermaid now. Like when's it my turn? When is it my turn for things to finally start growing in the direction that I have been nurturing, that I've been planting these seeds and putting in all this effort? Like when am I going to see the reward? Okay. <clears throat> And now I'm hearing Jafar, now you can have your reward. <laughs> 
So, uh, so yeah, you know, obviously, hopefully you're not involved with any dark characters like Jafar. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys watch Mateo Lane, but he did a skit about Jafar and gay Disney characters. I can't. It's just he's too funny you need to look him up um but you know he he was basically saying that Jafar um was gay and, <laughs> and he was doing Jafar impressions like Prince Abu <laughs> oh my goodness okay back to the reading Leo so next up we've got the seven of cups so another seven okay Seven of Cups, you know, the fact that things are not moving along the way you had hoped or the delays that you're dealing with, it's really confusing and overwhelming for you. I think that you have this dream or fantasy about how things are going to transpire, but at the end of the day, like, we can't always control the timeline. I mean, very rarely can we. So I think this involves something where you're trying to move on and heal from whatever this was, okay? If someone did break your heart, um, <clears throat> or again, if you're just in Queen of Swords mode because you've had your heart broken before and you're not planning on tolerating anyone else coming in and trying to do that to you, um, we've got mourning and we've got healing. So yeah, you know, I think Virgo season is gonna be a time for you to rest, to grieve, to heal from any letdowns or heartbreaks that you've been dealing with in the past. And uh, again, you know, this could be a spirit reminding you that there's a new beginning coming for you. So if you want to manifest this dream or this goal or this, this fantasy, whatever it is that you love and want to see come into fruition, you need to embrace that newness, okay? For some of you, this is going to involve really truly letting go of that pain and healing from it and that could be what's slowing you down that could be what's keeping you grounded okay in in this reality and delaying this new chapter in your life because you're still holding on to that heartbreak you're not fully able to let it go it's imprinted on you for life and that is why you've kind of turned a little bit cold like this queen of swords so I do think that spirit is hoping that you will um, that you will truly grieve this energy and move on from it, so that you can really be ready to uh, to have the room in your life for whatever this is to grow. Okay, you can't have that room. I mean, you can't plant a new plant in a pot with an old plant in it. Okay, you got to gut that thing and start over. You've got to release it. You've got to move on. You've got to heal. Um, otherwise, you're just gonna keep restarting that same cycle in the future and you're going to go into everything being very guarded and very sure that you're going to get your heart broken which is you know a self-fulfilling prophecy in the end if you think it's going to happen to you then it most likely will happen so spirits telling you virgo season is a time for you to rest and heal and revisit some of this pain so that you can finally allow yourself to release it okay so what else what else do we need to see for virgo season for my lovely leos yeah so we got the ten of arrows which are the swords and we also have the great bear, which is judgment. So, you know, I do think that spirit's telling you whatever this is, however you felt betrayed, whatever this ending was about that broke your heart, it says instruction here. So this was a learning opportunity, okay? Not to be like, not to downplay the heartbreak or the grief that you suffered through this ending, but spirit's telling you this was like... This, you were in training, boo. <laughs> you were being instructed on how to deal with situations like that and learning how to move on from feeling at rock bottom, learning how to draw back that bow and take action on a new beginning. Okay, seizing an opportunity for something new and exciting because you're fully releasing whatever came to an end first. The judgment card is coming up because Spirit's saying these themes are coming up in Virgo season because they need to be revisited. Okay, spirit wants to get you back on the main road to this bright new beginning that you're wanting to manifest, but you can't do that if you're still holding on to the past. If you're still, um, you know, taking yourself through the grief over and over and over again, you're just 
manifesting more of it into your life. You're manifesting that same situation to happen again. And you're going to end up cycling through it with the next person and the next person because you're going into it with that guarded energy, okay? And I'm not saying you shouldn't protect yourself or protect your energy, um, but you need to find a balance between being too guarded and, you know, just doing what you need to do to protect yourself and your energy, okay? Putting up those boundaries. Um, anything else we need to see about Virgo season? And what is the conclusion here? Yeah. Okay. So, you guys... We talk about the devil being like, oh, like toxic and oh, maybe this is a toxic person, like Diablo. <laughs> but I see this differently this time, okay? I feel like Spirit's telling you that you, you are perpetuating this toxic cycle by holding on to it, okay? And Spirit wants you to see that you're still attached to this person or this thing or this concept and it's slowing you down, okay? They want you to be happy. They want you to be successful. They want you to feel balanced and secure in yourself. They want you to be in a partnership with someone who understands what reciprocity means. They don't want you to feel exploited through your relationships or feel taken advantage of um, or breadcrumbed, okay? But if you keep holding on to that toxic energy, then you're going to keep poisoning your future endeavors, okay? You're going to continue to perpetuate that cycle of toxicity. Even though maybe the person that you, uh, that broke your heart might be the toxic one, you might not have contributed in any way to that, but you're still holding on to the grief of that toxicity. So you're allowing it to bleed into the future or into your new beginning. So Spirit's telling you it's time for you to truly release that so that you can come into balance so that you can um, be stable within yourself, okay? Start um, really focusing on what it is that's gonna take to get you into that balanced energy. Um, and once again, I'm looking at the grounded card. So, so yeah, like don't continue to drag yourself through these toxic cycles because you already know what's up. You've already learned these lessons and spirit is trying to show you like they want you to, to decide correctly. They want you to make a judgment call on what's going to happen here, what's happening in your future. So maybe the dark matter and the mystery is that. It, it's it's that it's the fact that you uh, want a new beginning, but you're not allowing yourself to have one. Oh, my throat just got really tickly all of a sudden. So I think spirit is telling you it's time to be honest and real with yourself, okay? And understand that by holding on to that, even just the concept of that for form of protection for future situations, you're letting it come with you. You're taking it with you. It's like you're taking the toxicity and you're putting it in a backpack and you're literally carrying it with you. Um, so yeah, you need to let yourself grieve and mourn and move on from that so that you can truly be available and ready and open for the next thing, okay? So underneath the deck, we've got the Page of Bows, which is the Page of Wands. So yeah, this is also Spirit, again, telling you it's time to take action on the new beginning. It's time for you to get excited about what comes next, about this new chapter. There, There's this energy of curiosity and uh, exploration that comes along with the Page of Wands. Spirit wants you to be ready to explore, but you can't do that if you're still in your feelings about something that happened in the past. All right, so, and once again, you guys, not to downplay any of that because everyone takes the time that it takes. Each individual's timeline is different in regards to healing. Healing is not linear. So it's not as simple as like, oh, yep, you just need to heal from this and move on. Like, no, it's not that simple. And I think that's what's going to be coming to light for you this month, that it's not as easy as you thought to, to close the chapter on the past. That hurt I don't think it was even about a specific person. It's just the heartbreak of it all, okay? The, the disloyalty, the, the feeling of, of being betrayed in general. Um, and I'm hearing like it's not even personal. Like it's not even about a specific person. It's just the concept of you getting your heart broken by toxic patterns and cycles. So anyways, let's move into the affirmations here. What does spirit want you to 
hold on to this season? What is the affirmation for you? Oh my gosh, not 50 11 cards popping out. Um, okay, so this one stood out to me. I'm going to take that. Let's try shuffling again. I think it stood out to me because of the big old butterfly on it. Um, one more. There it is. So we've got believe and we've got support. Okay, so I think too, this is a reminder that all of this that you're going through right now, Leo, it's for your transformation and growth. Okay, you are being divinely guided and supported by your, your angels, your guides, the universe. Um, so the affirmations here are, I surround myself with supported people who believe in my dreams. And I believe that each check I write brings money back to me tenfold. So yeah, like believing that, believing that, the abundance that exists within you, right? We saw the number, um, excuse me, we saw the number three. I was like, wait a minute, is this the right reading? Yes, it is. We saw the number three over there, creativity, um, the green woman also in this card signifying the empress. All of that abundance is in you, okay? Everything you put out into the universe, you're gonna get back. So whether it's negativity or positivity, whatever it is, you best believe it's gonna come back to you. So continue to surround yourself with people who are supportive and who believe in you um, and believe in you yourself, okay? Believe in you yourself. That's what the message is here. You need to believe in yourself and be willing to actually take the time that is necessary to heal from this heartbreak. Okay, so whew, that reading was like a whirlwind. I don't even remember anything I was just talking about. So hopefully it made sense to somebody out there. And if it did, don't forget to like the video and comment below. And of course, you guys get that personal reading booked up. I know these general readings can be very vague sometimes. The best way to look into your situation is to get a personal reading reading so all of the details are down below but other than that there will be other things to look forward to on my channel over the next couple of weeks so stay tuned enjoy virgo season to the best of your ability with all the retrogrades and i will be resetting the camera for my sexy sagittarius i am so excited you guys are the last of the zodiacs that i will be recording for today so um i hope that this is a good one and of course if you find this is your story remember to like the video and comment below this reading is for sagittarius sun moon rising venus and the scrumptious crotch watcher of sagittarius so what do we need to see about Virgo season as I'm starting to get the hiccups. <laughs> what do we need to see for Sagittarius in regards to Virgo season? All right. So why am I hearing, she's my cherry pie? Like I'm getting some weird song channelings in these readings, you guys. <laughs> That's why I said I was so excited because some of these readings have been like, a doozy um so be sure to check out your other placements but we're starting out with a voice and speaking your word which has come up quite a bit but this red dress that i just saw it's very like i don't know it's giving me sexy vibes which i didn't really see in those other readings but um you can see she's bursting out of a megaphone here and you know sagittarius there's always it's always a good time to speak your word right always a good time to say what's on your mind um y'all just really don't really have any filter so <laughs> i feel like this is this is for you <laughs> um so yeah you know there could be something in virgo season that you need to voice your opinion on or just in general using your voice to inspire others um you know there might even be somebody who thinks your voice is sexy Okay, maybe that's why I'm channeling that cherry pie song. Um, but yeah, you know, whatever this is about for you, hopefully um, it's positive, right? Because that's what it looks like to me. There's a lot of positive energy radiating from this card. So whatever it is that you're speaking about, or again, if this is someone else in your life that's speaking up to you, I feel like it's going to be positive. I feel, again, a sexy energy coming off of this card. So let's continue. What else do we need to see? Mm. So we've got breath and life. So you can see here, she is like kind of struggling to get out of this garment. We're standing next to this glowing heart. I always think of heartburn when I see this card. Um, and so maybe somebody up in here needs to get some Tums. 
<laughs> or some Pepto Bismol or some shit. But uh, but anyways, life and breath. I think this could be a spirit kind of telling you that you need to breathe, take it easy, right? Truly um, channel what it is within your heart that you want to manifest. There could even be uh, some of you who feel like you're stuck in a certain situation, trying to break free from something or someone. Um, and, you know, also too, like there's a feeling of like, I'm hearing like you leave me breathless. Isn't that a song? It's like a 90s song. You leave me breathless. And I just feel like this person or whoever we're connecting with here, whether you're the person or it's someone else, there's this need to like break free, okay? And uh, this could even be spirit telling you to follow your heart and speak your truth. And that's a very vague message, but I mean, that's kind of what I'm seeing here. So remember, like the longer you hold things in, the more painful it actually is for you. So if you're being true to your heart, um, now I'm hearing that song, True to your heart. Is that from Mulan? This girl reminds me of Mulan a little bit. Why am I channeling all of these songs? Like Disney songs, 90s songs. I mean, it's been... <laughs> it has been quite the journey through these readings, you guys. Let's get one more card for Sagittarius. There we go. So we've got animals. And you know, this card reminds me uh, a little bit of Maze from Lucifer, if you guys watch that show. Um, but we've got companionship and animals. So Virgo season might be a time where you feel very close to animal spirit. Um, or just in general, you could be an animal person. This could even be like Maroon 5, animals, animals, like there's, a, again, a sexy vibe that I'm feeling. So you and another person could really be wanting to uh, get the let out, okay? <laughs> um, ravaging each other like animals and truly just being authentic with one another, breaking free from constraints and letting it all hang out, being true to your heart, being true to your word. That's a lot. So let's get into the tarot. Let's find out a little bit about how we wrapped up Leo season. What do we need to see for the recent past for Sagittarius, please? Six of bows. Oof. Conquering, accomplishment, success, winning, victory, all of these themes. But it says abundance. So I think, you know, if there is an energy that's coming out between you and someone else, there's this need to like come out, okay? I'm coming out. Like you and this person could be coming out and being public, making your relationship public. Um, but overall, I feel that there could be an abundance of passion and energy um, that exists here in your life. And, you know, that's good. I like that. Like I said, there's a really positive energy coming off of your reading. So maybe there were some goals that you had in Leo season that you were able to succeed at. Maybe there was something specific that you accomplished that you felt like you were being very supported by your ancestors, your angels, your guides. Um, let's elaborate on that. So we've also got the wanderer which is like the fool energy so yeah you know i think <clears throat> whatever this was involved you taking a leap of faith um doing the good old trust fall down the cliff and knowing that whatever's at the bottom that you're going to be guided where you need to go you're trusting the universe okay so sagittarius i really like this energy for you i feel like as we wrapped up leo season you were really just following your own path you were following your heart maybe breaking free of constraints um and using your voice in some way shape or form to have this new beginning and victory and success okay so let's talk about virgo season what do we need to see for sagittarius oh the eight of pentacles skill so this could definitely have to do with work right this could be you really working hard trying to make more money trying to make a name for yourself um, this could be for some of you wanting to earn a promotion uh, or just working towards your stability. For some of you, you could just really be grinding, okay, in Virgo season, which would make sense, right? Virgo season is bad energy, um, overworking, <laughs> overworking and overanalyzing and things like that.
things like that. So you could just be really focused on your abundance right now, trying to see a project through to fruition. Um, and again, following that path that you took in Leo season. So let's continue. What else do we need to see? The two of bows decision. Yeah, so you're going to be at a crossroads here in some way, shape, or form. There's going to need to be a decision made about your future. And uh, I think right now, <clears throat> I'm hearing you need to strike while the iron is hot, okay? As these two staffs are on fire, he's grasping both of them. And, you know, maybe there is a little bit of a crossroads here, but the fact is, is he's holding on tightly to both directions so you know maybe there is going to be a need for you to go off in a different direction while still putting energy into something from the past um, and again this could involve work projects and things like that but um, I see determination on this man's face and a decision has already been made so I feel like Virgo season you're going to be very determined and planning the future um, and really using the skills that you have honed over time into this new path that you're going to be taking okay And we've got the Ace of Arrows, Ace of Swords, the Breath of Life. We literally have the word breath here. And then the Ace of Swords talking about clarity, speaking your truth, honesty, um, and just an opportunity to be real in life, be authentic, the breath of life. I feel like even though this represents the swords, it's still an arrow. It's still a part of your element drawing back that bow and shooting your shot out into the universe in a way that is crystal clear, okay? I think that whatever this is about, you've made your intentions very clear or you will be, right? We're talking about Virgo season. Um, and you could also be receiving some clarity from spirit showing you that you're on the right path. Now I'm thinking about the, the compass in Pocahontas, right? Listen with your heart, you will understand. Like, let the winds guide you. Like that's what spirit wants you to do. They want you to break free from anything that is constricting you um, or isn't aligned with the true goals that you have in your heart. So <clears throat> let's continue. Let's elaborate on that sexy energy we were feeling. I know this is not an intimate extended, but I feel like we need to know. King of Arrows, King of Swords, oh my goodness. So we've got a king coming up in here. And <clears throat> this could be you connecting with um, with a divine masculine energy. Um, or again, this could be you really taking matters into your own hands, being honest and decisive, and knowing where you're headed, um, speaking your truth, cutting people out of your life that no longer serve a purpose or who aren't aligned with your goals. Um, but yeah, King of Arrows, this could also be representative of someone in your life that, you know, you can always count on to be real with you. Someone who believes in you and understands your potential. Someone who is an open communicator and someone who always comes to you in clarity, not confusion. Okay. So again, take what applies to you. What else do we need to see? Yeah, and you know, with the Ace of Swords and the King of Swords, this could be telling you that someone is going to be communicating something with you that's very important in Virgo season. Now, we've also got the Three of Vessels, and we've got the Seven, the Archer, which is the Chariot. So... This could be you also reconciling or reuniting with someone that you really care for. Okay, this could be just about friendship, right, for some of you out there. But the Three of Cups is a card of reunion. So we're talking about trust and love and friendship as a foundation. So I do feel that you will be reuniting with someone from your past in Virgo season, which makes total sense since everybody and their mama is retrograde right now. Um, and the Chariot energy Again, we're talking about drawing back your bow and aiming at your target, aiming at your goals. So Spirit's telling you that the energy of the universe is behind you, supporting you. This energy of movement and change is happening for you. And now the universe is helping you to co-conspire moving towards these goals that you have been aiming for. So I do feel that you are going to be coming back together with someone during this retrograde season and again use your discernment you guys not every 
reconciliation is meant to last past retrograde. So like I said, for some of you, this could be about friendship, wanting to reconnect with someone and establish that trust between the two of you. Um, but other than that, we know the chariot is talking about the, the emperor driving home, driving the chariot home. So this, like I said, could be a divine counterpart situation for some of you as well. Anything else we need to see about Virgo season as we conclude this reading? Ah, the seer. Now the seer is showing up in reverse, the high priestess. So this could be a warning as we wrap things up for this reading, not to confuse your intuition with ego, because sometimes, sometimes, especially during retrogrades, the messages can come through kind of hazy. This could be spirit telling you, don't avoid the messages or don't block out the messages if you are sort of ignoring your intuition about something right now that could definitely spell danger right so definitely use your intuition this season let's elaborate why was the high priestess in the reverse that was fast mm, okay so we've got the knight of stones the horse so you know this could be in regards to like i said someone coming around or someone that you've dealt with or someone that you know that's like this where they come across as very dedicated, loyal, stable, like they're very interested and invested. Someone may be offering you something. This could be even a job offer for some of you. And you could be really needing to use your discernment in regards to whoever or whatever this is. All of the knights carry the fear on their back, okay? This knight has the fear of not being good enough or not doing things correctly, of failing and not having what they need to succeed. So I do think that for some of you, this is a job opportunity or offer that's coming your way. And spirit is reminding you, don't ignore your intuition. If something feels sussy, that's because it is, okay? And extra during Mercury retrograde, you want to be sure before you sign any contracts um, or you put yourself in any situations where you're going to need to invest okay so underneath the bottom of the deck you know, I feel like this reading was all over the place but hopefully the messages are resonating with those of you watching underneath all of that is the three of bows fulfillment so the underlying energy we even have this symbolism from the the temperance card right the balance energy the patience the need to trust that things are aligning for you um, so, you know, there's something that's happening behind the scenes or something that you've been waiting for to align so that you can move into stability. Um, you've definitely been manifesting this and you've needed a great deal of patience along the way. So spirits reminding you that things are are aligning even though you might not be able to see that happening it's happening behind the scenes and your day will come your fulfillment will arrive um, <clears throat> but there could potentially like I said be delays due to retrogrades and things like that so just use your discernment and don't ignore the messages that you're receiving from spirit I feel like that ace of swords was very symbolic there's going to be a message or something coming to you this season and it's going to be very clear cut and concise and I think spirit is telling you, don't second guess the clarity that you're receiving. Okay, that is your ego talking. So Sagittarius, let's grab some affirmations. Let's find out what spirit wants you to focus on this season. Courage. Nice. So my fear of rejection does not stop me from bravely going forward. Okay, there we have it. So don't worry about rejection. Don't worry about not being good enough or not having enough. Have the courage to pursue your goals anyway, okay? Even if there's still a little bit of lingering fear, spirit wants you to remain confident in achieving your goals. Let's get one more. Whoa, okay, so we actually have two more. <laughs> so we've got practice and motivation. So every day I practice my ability to reach my desired financial goals and I am motivated and motivated people help me to improve my finances. So going back to the whole like, reunion between friends 
Um, this could be spirit's way of telling you to surround yourself with people that you trust that have the same like-minded goals and things like that that are going to motivate you in life that are going to lift you up that are going to encourage you um, because you don't want to surround yourself with people who who make you have to second guess or question your worth okay so continuing with this energy of practice working on your craft honing your skills and staying motivated to reach that finish line whatever that is for you okay so Again, this reading all over the place. I hope that it resonated with those of you watching, even if it was just one brief moment of this reading. I hope that there's something you can take away from it. But as always, Sagittarius, if you liked the reading, don't forget to give it a like and comment below. And if you're wanting to dive into your personal situation, definitely get that private reading booked with me um, at that discounted rate. And you guys can also look forward to some other things coming up on the channel, blue moon reading, love readings, shorts, and all that good jazz. So I hope you enjoy Virgo season. I love you from the bottom of my heart and I will see you again very soon. Bye.